I can't get it off. What's up, people? It's your boy Jetwa, and I'm here today on, a, well, it's gonna be a Friday when you're seeing this, which is rather exciting, because I've been waiting for Friday, because short week, and, well, Friday. So, what I need to do is try to get this craft through my tunnel. Now, I'll show you how to build the tunnel after we see if this will make it, because I really want to see if this will make it through. This is a compact airplane that should be able to rocket its way through the tunnel. It's fairly stable. I have these uh, small motorized wheels that I have added in. It's an adaptation of the normal wheels, except for I wanted them to be motorized. I got used to fire spitter wheels and the motor on them. So that being said, I needed a motorized wheel to get around and do things and profit. So I have gone ahead and added them in. Now, it's pretty easy. You just have to add a module to the wheel. They already have steering, so they're the best ones to do it with. So we need to go and get this, hopefully, into this tunnel that actually took quite some time to build. And to get, because I'm using the hanger extender to get this one to work right. Because the joints, connecting the joints wasn't going to work enough because, uh, one, you had to get things lined up perfectly, which wasn't going to happen. Uh, two, you had to then make sure that each joint was connected to the next which wasn't going to happen because things just weren't lining up uh the the natural flow of the ground mm, chest. <laughs> wasn't going right pretty much if it could go wrong it was going wrong for me so i went ahead and uh just used hanger extender and was able to create this one piece tunnel and use these boat parts full of lead in order to keep it down I know it, it worked out pretty well. That's going to be what the what is ultimately made this work is adding these the weights to the front here to keep the front of this down. Otherwise, it kind of teeters and makes a nice little balance beam out of itself, and it is kind of scary going through. This actually weights it down. I want to redo this and actually weight down both sides. I wasn't thinking when I first did this, so it came out like you see here. But nonetheless, it should still work. This is, uh, I, I know, I saw Space Scumbag do his amazing Hyperloop roller coaster, what it looked like. And, oh man, if you haven't seen it, you should go f and, and check out that link. He's it's probably still in Reddit somewhere. That thing should be a sticky somewhere. That was freaking amazing. But... I had been working on something like this for a while, trying to figure out how to get this to work for me. As you can see, I'm still having some trouble. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, so we're in. So I'm a tone this down a bit because I'm not sure how fast I can get away with but here you go let's give you a nice cockpit view oh my god that's so awesome <laughs> I'm sorry that was so loud but that looks so freaking cool oh my god oh I'm not sure how fast I can get away with but I definitely need to be careful and make sure that I'm not going to uh, screw anything up here just need to make it through. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Slight bump. Slight bump. Another slight bump. Okay. Okay. Okay, we need to get down. Oh, oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're still good. We're still mostly good. It's still, once you get the lay of the land, unfortunately, this thing has a lot of dips. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. Here we go. 
So what? Why? Why? Why you? Why did you do that? Why did you do all of that? Okay, here we go. So from here we need to go full speed. Mm. And prepare to extend our wings. Mm. And extending. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Whoa! Okay, we're good. We got this. We got... <laughs> okay, for some reason, with destruction effects, it makes it look like things are blowing up when things are not blowing up. I didn't even need my burners. But, oh my god, that worked. Okay. Alright, so as I mentioned before, you are going to need hangar extender or else this is not going to work for you at all. Uh, and so we need to go ahead and let's place our first pipe in. And you're going to need tweak skill as well. Okay, so here we have hangar extender. Now what I'm going to do, first things first, what I want to do is actually come here and I need to put I need to put some struts on here uh, the struts are going to be I can actually use this I-beam here might work a little better it's going to be for our robot core uh, let's get you know what this one will work just fine and then I'm going to throw some actual RTGs on here. The RTGs will give me just enough power for it to be recognized. I really don't need this, but this is just to get around the whole message that, hey, your, uh, your, your fly's out, your fly's down. Or <laughs> your <laughs> it's to get around the message that you don't have something on there. Okay, so we have that on there. And you could be as fancy as you want. You could put Omni lights. Doesn't matter. Uh, so we'll throw that on there. Okay. So now let's get this on outside. So now we're in hangar extender, and we are outside. Let's give it a name in case the game crashes. Um, uh, hyper with the crazy capitals. Hyper two two. Okay. So now what you need to do is start tweak scaling things like a son of a gun. So let's go ahead and move this on up to 10 because that's going to be 10 meters is going to be the, the nice good size that we can use for even the biggest aircraft to go through. And a rocket if you want. You can throw a rocket. And from here, well, there's a few things you can do. I like to go ahead and grab one both directions. Well, just one. Just one. You just need just one. Because you need to make a ramp. And this ramp is going to apply for both sides. So, uh, I got a ramp in here somewhere. Uh, there it is. The KN loading ramp. KN225 loading ramp. That's what I use for my loading ramp. And line these up just here so it's just inside and that should give you enough to get in well I mean the higher the better but if you wanted some really big craft you're gonna run into some trouble so let's go ahead and do this and let's move this out some gives us a nice good size ramp make sure everything's nice and lined up and that should do it for you that's that's First thing, uh, next thing you need to do is go in here and you need some weight. You need some weight on this thing. So let's go ahead and grab something nice and heavy. Uh, I, of course, had used the, the ship parts because the ship parts are can be weighted down with lead. That creates a really nice structure. So I'm going to use the same thing once again. Uh, as soon as I find it 
in here. There they are. <laughs> See, he has a 250 lead that can be jammed in there. Uh, and now you need to go and grab some radio attachment points. I had used, uh, I actually had used, uh, I had used I beams before because they were a bit stronger. And I think I may go back to using them again. Okay. And let's go ahead and flip this this way a little bit more. And it should connect. Alright, and then you want to actually make sure you strut this nicely because that is a lot of weight. I have some really strong struts in here, the SN strut connectors. You want to do this from here because once we start building, it's going to get ridiculous and you're not going to want to uh, do this later on. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Okay, so let's put a few struts in here. And... I'm going to put two more in the back. Alright. And one more here. Okay, so here comes the boring part, which I will speed up. Uh, I'm also going to do this just because I can. Uh, and, and then we're going to double this. And because I don't trust it being able to stay down... Give it a lot of weight. Okay, so that creates a nice heavy section on the ends that can weight it down so it all can uh, stay together. So now we need to start building this monstrosity. We can save this, take this, and actually move it up here. Because now we just need to start going like this and building outwards. Also, what I like to do is I like to use some I-beams just to make some legs for stability so let's go ahead and drop some I-beams on here and we don't want them to be too tall we just want it to make sure that this does not rock back and forth because if your I-beams are further down than your ramp is you are gonna have a really bad day So right there, you see that it won't affect me up here too much, but I want this to be my lowest point. These are just for strength later on. All right, so we now need to start building this son of a gun. So I want this to be here. And I put these every other. Is it going to, are you going to grab? Going to grab, there you go. Okay, I put this every other, so I go like this. I can actually get rid of that, because I'm just going to flip it around. And now we start building outwards. Here, Here's cue the whole fast-forwarding. I guess <laughs> this takes a little bit. Okay, so once you think you are far enough, it's time to launch this thing now. A few settings I highly suggest. <laughs> I highly suggest you turn on unbreakable joints because this is going to have a lot of flex and it's going to want to break since we can't really account for joint flex like we can in real life. Well, you're going to have to count on it not breaking or you're gonna have to elevate it and it's not your elevation is not gonna be consistent across the board so that being said you are you may want to turn on unbreakable joints to save yourself a bit of headache you may have to hack a bit of gravity to get it down because even while using a uh, vessel mover like we're gonna have to use vessel mover sometimes will still cause anything this size to explode uh, that being said, it's a lot easier with Vessel Mover in conjunction with Hacked Gravity, at least temporarily, in order to get your craft into place. I can't move it. Why can't I move it? Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Let's 
close enough. Can I move it one last time? There we go. All right, so let's get this bird on out. Well, oh, bird. It's not really a bird. It's ginormous monstrosity. Let's get this ginormous monstrosity out. And <laughs> I'll show you how to really quickly do this. First thing I do is I really quickly open up Vessel Mover. Because <laughs> the second it starts moving, I hit Move Vessel. And let's take a look at how long this thing is. <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay. All right. I have unbreakable joints and no crash damage already selected. And let me tab upwards. And that gets us all the way up 3,000 meters up in the, into the air. So now I can set this to go wherever I want. I need to rotate. And uh, I'm going to compare this one to my last tunnel. Mega tunnel is pretty big. But how big is this current tunnel? All right. I'm going to lower it down. <laughs> give it a give it a few seconds. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. With craft this big, you tend to run into some major slowdowns. But if this one is bigger than Hyper Tunnel, the Mega Tunnel one, then I'm going to get rid of it. It looks like it's almost the same size. Nope, we have a length winner. Size matters. <laughs> and here's another problem you run into. Occasionally, it will disappear into the land and come back out. Okay, there you go. It's almost perfectly lined up. And now we're going to lower it down to the ground. See how we look. I can actually shuffle this a little bit this way. All right, and let's place a vessel. As you see, I didn't even hack gravity this time. It should slow it down enough so it doesn't shatter and with unbreakable joints and no damage hopefully it does the trick alright it looks like it's settled the other side's not gonna settle as well though <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's gonna settle it comes down and it just drops right into the water <laughs> that's that would be slightly horrifying. If we had it any longer, we would actually have it going directly into the water, which would be pretty awesome. So that worked out pretty well. That one is pretty damn long. That goes almost from the runway to the water. So, and look at it. It actually just slopes with the ground, which is exactly what I want. I want it to slope with the ground. Now, I, pref I would prefer it to be able to do that. That's just absolutely great. So, let me go over to this other... I'm sorry, we're still moving. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it looks like my pipe got a little happy. So, <laughs> these are some of the oddities I've run into while doing this is that sometimes gravity will cease to work on a pipe and this is what will happen there it goes it's coming back down and it'll just have a morning woody it's the first thing it'll do so it's kind of its first thing it wants to do when it when it wakes up and look at it just snaking itself back down to the ground that is beautiful absolutely beautiful of course normally that would shatter into a billion pieces but this time around not so much <laughs> oh my god did that work it works all right here we go full throttle <laughs> Oh 
Oh, this is awesome! Oh, this is awesome! We are currently going 90 meters per second. 100 meters per second. Holy crap, we are moving! Let's see if we can get an outside view. It's actually hugging it! It's hugging it perfectly! Oh my god! Oh, that is awesome! There you go for a hypertube! It's firing straight through <laughs> full throttle! Oh my god, how fast are we going? 200 meters per second! And foosh! Right out we go! I don't think we can control it from here though! <laughs> yes oh my god all the yes of the world that was amazing and i love it i could have actually gotten it into the air if i would have started my maneuver early but i forgot i was turned and so i was turning the wrong way that was amazing i want to do it again i want to do it again but i'll save that for another time for you <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like to see it hit that like button drop me in a comment let me know what you think and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. I'm going to do this again real quick. So if you really want to watch the rest, hang tight. And hopefully this will work. Will work. Alright, we're in. We are in. Gear is deploying. We have a perfect snug. We are ready to fire. Let's go ahead and get rid of vessel mover. Give you a perfect view of this. Oh, it's so perfect! Three, two, one, go! Oh my god, that's so freaking awesome! Oh man! Oh man, that is beautiful! That is freaking beautiful! The suspension holds beautifully as well. Good job on the suspension. Oh my god. Alright. Here we're coming up on the exit. Coming up on the exit. And we are we are moving right now. Foom! And we're out. We're pulling up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh no. Holy moly. Whoa. Whoa. Is it gonna be survivable? I don't think it is. Oh, it's, it's survivable. Oh, these Kerbals regret nothing. <laughs> I love it. Peace. <laughs> oh, it's got me so nervous right now. We're too high up for this to fail. Come on. Come on. I don't want to wait. Through the pipeline. Oh! Yes! Alright, first bump. Here's our test.